And I'm so honored to say that Camden and Colton are joining us right now. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. Camden, it's such an honor to meet you. I love your story. Uh, what was it, Camden, that was there sort of the aha moment? Was there an origin story or a spark to the flame? What was it that got you started? Yeah, so at the height of the pandemic, um, we, me and my brother were sitting and watching TV and there was all of these news reports that were popping up. And it was anxiety provoking seeing these families. Me and my brother were really compelled to help and make a difference. And our families, or our family, always instilled in us to help other people and put people before you put yourself. And it was that at that moment that we knew, kind of, that we needed to do something. So, Colton, what do you do in that moment? You look to each other, you feel that, you know, feeling. Then what? Well, I think our first step was just like talking to our parents because I don't know they were a great influence on us and. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That was just our first step, talking to our parents and, and just talking about how to get the word out there and how to get people to help us, too. Oh, I think your parents must have been so proud of you in that moment. If, I mean, I have two daughters. And any time they come to me on their own wanting to do something of service or for someone else or a thought that's beyond themselves, I am just so relieved and excited, and I'm amazed that your parents were able to like leap into action the way they did. Um, like, explain what beyond the crisis means. So beyond the crisis really has to do with kind of going beyond the crisis because we all know about the current pandemic and how, like what that caused for a lot of people and how that was such a like, huge issue, but. Food insecurity is an everyday problem. It's an ongoing problem. And we really wanted to address that on top of kind of the exacerbated effects caused by the pandemic. So it was really that that kind of pushed us to get started, get working. I mean, you guys are so amazing. Really, every word you're saying, I'm just hanging on it. And you have helped over a thousand families. A thousand. Yes. I mean, that is just an incredible feat. And some have actually called you personally to say thank you. Did, did that happen? Did someone? Yeah. Yeah. So my, actually, there was a lady that showed up in our driveway and she had an apple tree and she reached out to us via email. And she even was so kind of compelled and inspired by our story that she showed up on her doorstep with all of these apples, and it was just a really heartwarming moment for my brother and I. Oh, what a poetic way to know you're on the right path. Your life could have looked so different, but this is your story now because of the steps you've taken. And we're so amazed by what you're doing. And then our friends at Lundberg Family Farms are donating $10,000 oh worth of non-perishable rice and snack items. And wow. they just want to help foster Thank your you. pantry. Thank you so much. Me and my brother appreciate it. Really? <laughs> I mean, this is how you're inspiring people, let alone companies who are watching you going, we want to be a part of that. It's so beautiful what you are compelling everybody to do. And we want to make sure that you go to our website at thedrewberrymichaud.com because maybe you have something that you want to contribute to Camden and Colton. I know I certainly do. <laughs> um, may I ask, um, as a last question, um, I always like to learn from people who are about action and not just words. May I ask a piece of advice, Camden? Yes. On how I can better serve my community. I actually, I actually have an answer. All right. Great. I was just, I was gonna say that like I'm 13 and my brother's 18, so I think it's just like it's kind of inspiring that like you can be any age. Uh, you, like you don't have to have like you have to be. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to be 40 and 50 to make a difference. We really wanted to instill in other teenagers that just by taking a few steps and like moving forward that you can make a huge difference. And that's why I'm here today. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> and Colton, mm -hmm. like, the name you give to a 13-year-old human is one of the most beautiful I've ever seen. So truly, thank you for being you. And your age is just even more amazing because you're right, it is an ageless thing to take care of others. You could be older or younger and anything in between. And I think that's a very valuable lesson. And we want takeaways in this world. We want to be inspired and then know how we can do it. So your advice is at any age, you can do this. Thank you, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Camden and Colton, thank you so much. And thank you to our